Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Taurus for love and relationship for the month of October 2020. For some of you, you just get married. I see marriage for you. For some of you, you are approaching marriage with someone, but the other person keep holding back because they want really that actual power or control with you. There is a struggle situation between you and your person at this time, like, you know, you are kind of like, you know, struggling with a lot. You need to free yourself, like, you know, that your person, like, you know, want to leave you, want to walk away from you. They don't want to connect with you. They don't want to be really like, you know, just acknowledging anything with you. Because they don't believe in you. Because there is a misunderstanding. It's not like, you know, your person doesn't love you. They do. <laughs> but they are kind of like, you know, maybe fighting an argument. There is a lot of fights here between you two. Like, you know, you are kind of like trying harder, struggling so much with someone. There is so much love coming from you to your person at this time. You do have a lot of effort like you made with this person, but I get here they misunderstand you. You do mean very well. And it says here, so for some of you, not everybody, communications are going to be really very good. But some people like you know, isolate you sometimes, they are mad, they are pissed about something because... They love you so much and they want like you no know, a meaningful relationship with you but it could be like you no know, they don't believe you they don't believe like you know, your statement or your forthcoming in the situation that's why this is going on right there, like that your person is into their themselves like you know, they think about themselves they want a future with you and i get to hear that you are happy to give it you mean very well for this person. There is a lot of harmony between you two. There is love from both sides. There is still like you know, that settled down, like you know, from your uh, for you, like you know, with your person. I get here, like you know, for some of you, I said like you know that you get married. It's really going to be really a good relationship. For some of you who are reaching for the marriage, your person is really like you know, struggling and believing you at this time, but it's still like you no know, really going to happen here. For some of you, like you know, maybe you lost some job, like you know, your job also. You're gonna find another job and you are kind of like, you know, okay, you know what? I wanted to be free from that job anyway, but you're gonna get a new job. There are new jobs coming. I get here for some of you who have a business, there is that money, there is good money in it. It's gonna really like you know, that business will last for a long time. But it might be like you know, the past few months like you know, have been really slow. But the money is coming and approaching you like you no know, really again. There is a turn to the better with it. If you have a problem, for some Tauruses, if you have a problem with your lover and they turn their back on you and stopped on you, it's because they don't, they want to get their wish. And you are like, okay, I'm giving you your wish. I'm here. But I guess here is really having difficulty for this person to really like, you know, understand you where you are coming from. And I get here that they are really like, you know, needing some time to return, but they are returning. You're going to get your wish. For some of you, because I'm looking on too many different stories here. Some of you get married, you're going to be really happy. It's a good relationship, which is get married recently, very shortly, like, you know, in a, in a short time. And I get here that for some of you who are seeking marriage with your partner and they left you because there is a misunderstanding, they're going to come back in the picture again, reunite with you again because I see unfinished business. You're going to reunite with your person again. Even if you try harder really so much right now, they are not listening. They need some time for them to understand you. 
because I'm picking on like you know more than two situations too. Your person I get here keep hurting and they decline you because they are not really getting their wish. But you are like, well, I am. I am really like, you know, planning for too much, like, you know, returning, like, you know, for the future. Yes, you are committed to your person. I see that. But it looks to me here that, you know, the other person needs to work on too many here because... They don't want to progress things. They want to move to another area. They want to jump into conclusions. Some of you, some of like, you know, your lovers like, you know, moved maybe to another country or they think about really moving to another country and they don't want to progress anything. And you are like, well, I mean very well. I'm working on everything between us, but it seems to be here that you need to leave the other person alone for them to come along. And they believe like, you know, they might be really lucky with another person, but they are fooling themselves. Because that person is not going to walk away, as they say. Maybe they walked away, but temporarily waiting on you to be really too serious and too sincere. But you're going to get your wish at the end with that person. If your person have been really like, no, really left when they are mad and angry, they just want to have power over you. They want to have control. And if you are talking to other people like you know, on social media, you need to watch out because your person is really watching you. They feel like you know, maybe you are messing around like you know, with a lot. And this is what this person believe even if you are not doing that. Okay. But I guess here your person is doing this out of love. But their love is really like you know, mean. Like you know, in a way that you know in control. They want really to control you and have everything to get like you know, their wish uh, desire. Like you know, their wish desire like you know, in a very strong matter. Like you know, even if you are saying... If I get married right now, another person is going to sue me and put me in jail for some reason or something. That's an example I'm giving. And the other person, I don't care. I want to get married now. And you are like, okay, are you not really caring about what's going to happen to me? But anyway, I know your intention is marriage. You want a commitment and everything. And I get here, you are being loved at this time. And you are serious. You are sincere about too many things. But you don't like the drama. Nobody likes the drama anyway. But the drama is happening to you whether you like it or not. And you're like, is it love or drama? Because I like to hear music. I like to dance. I like to have fun. I like to enjoy my time. Why my person is really being pushy to me at this time? What shall I do? You need not really to show. Because when you show little, they don't like it. When you show too much, they don't like it. It's kind of like you need to leave their... their uh, your person to make a decision and trust you more because it feels here that you do your good work very loving work and leave it out there you don't have to push your person in a certain way you know your person annoyed with the statement you say you keep repeating it or an action you do you keep repeating it but it says here that you should not really keep repeating the same thing over and over when you feel like you know, that your person is annoyed or upset with something you have to leave them alone you cannot really keep really like you know, repeating the same mistake over and over you have to pay attention to details with your person they mean very well you mean very well also but in the same time there is a lot of misunderstanding here you cannot really like you know, just come demanding on your person. Your person get mad and annoyed very quick. And you get very quick and annoyed too. There is a situation here also. That's a different total situation of what I was reading in the beginning. That there is a person get mad at you and they were like no really misunderstanding you and and you called the cops on them who restrained that person you put a restraining order because they won't leave you alone about something you want love and you mean love and they were forcing like no so many things on you also and you couldn't stand it and that person is looking into themselves right now but they want to come back 
they want to come back to you and I get here you want really to heal from the situation you want to be happy it's not like you know you never meant like you know really very well for this person but they misunderstood you it could be an Aquarius person that misunderstood you here there is another Taurus also there is a Libra. I see Sagittarius. I see a Leo. But at the end, it's really a very good relationship going to be. And I get here that you cannot really force someone also if you if they are married to someone to be divorced from any, the other person until they feel like it, they will do it. Until the time is ripe, you can do it. But you cannot force situations sometimes. And that will make you like you no know, really such a happy person. Like I say, like you no know, here, sometimes you keep doing the same thing over and over with someone that make them very upset and misunderstand you. You need not to really repeat the same thing that bother your partner. Dear Storos, I hope you enjoy the reading. And if you need a private reading, please contact me on mysticalaziza.com and the link for my website is below this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.